Hey guys, have you ever made a really stupid programming mistake that caused your microcontroller to crash and burn and you had to unplug it and reflash it to get it going again? I know I have. That's not the way it works with Toit. Come on, let me show you. When programming a microcontroller in a low-level programming language, there are many things that can go wrong. For instance, stepping outside a data array into undefined memory, dividing by zero, or perhaps doing a really deep recursion with the function calling itself might cause an unprotected microcontroller to either behave totally unpredictable or crash. And as we know, all the logic you have running will stop after such a crash. After all, we are lumping all our functionality into one piece of unstable firmware. Like this code, for example. If you run this in an Arduino system, the whole microcontroller would definitely crash since the recursive function calls itself far too many times. Where on Intuit, on the other hand, the situation is vastly different. I have a Toit ESP32 here up and running an application that every 5 seconds pulls data from a sensor, and the ESP32 is then publishing this data on the log. To try out the system stability, I have prepared a piece of recursive code that multiplies two numbers. If one of the numbers is too big, in this case 1000, this will overflow the program stack causing a crash on an unprotected microcontroller. But let's deploy this app on my toy device and see what happens. The crash application is scheduled to run every 5 seconds, and as you can see, if we switch back to the console, we get stack overflows at that rate. But the sensor readings just keep coming. This is a great example of the unique parallel execution and memory isolation that you get when using Toit. One app can never crash another app, nor the system as a whole. If we want to get rid of this faulty app, we could of course simply switch to the Apps tab and uninstall the app that's causing the problem by pressing the Uninstall button. But instead, let's just fix the problem and redeploy the app. So in our code, we just decrease the recursion depths to something more realistic. And then, in the terminal, we just redeploy the app. With the corrected toy code, we now get both the sensor readings as well as the correct result from our recursive multiplication. So that's how stable an ESP32 is when it's running Toit. Do you want to know more and try it out yourself? Check out the webpage 